Hi guys, LA Toy Guy here with my first ever in-depth game room tour. I'm making this video because I love checking out other people's game room, so if you're watching this video, I'm sure you do too. But before we get started with the tour, I put this collage of photos of uh, how my game room actually started. Just to give you an idea of the scale of the room, it's approximately a 14 by 14 foot room. The game room was initially intended to be used as an office for my car club. Uh, it also served as a large supply slash inventory room uh, where I'd stock car club stuff, parts, and things of that nature. Uh, as you can see, we moved a desk in and uh, there was a drawer slash filing cabinet there which was left by the previous occupants. Uh, this is where I had my monitor set up to be used primarily for the security camera. Um, but I figured this would be a great place to set up my FC3, which is kind of like a Retron 5. I had a handful of games like Techno Super Bowl, Killer Instinct, and a few others. And when my friends saw the system hooked up, they all wanted to play. So I set up a folding table so that they could play while I was working. Um, shortly thereafter, I wanted to paint the walls the colors of my car club, which are a combination of red, black, and white. Um, then we got a great deal on some laminate flooring, uh, which all the members of the car club helped uh, to uh, install. I repainted the desk to match the color scheme. Um, we added some storage racks from Home Depot. Then I bought this fold-out couch from Ikea. Um, fast forward a few months, uh, I repositioned my desk so I can have a monitor facing me and the old CRT on the opposite side facing um, the couch. I then purchased some old systems like the NES and the GameCube, but I definitely started to outgrow the space. So I bought another storage rack to accommodate the growing collection. Um, fast forward about a year or so, I moved all the car club stuff out of the, uh, the room and into our garage in our common uh, hangout room kind of area. And this is where the room uh, became primarily a game room slash uh, toy room. I started uh, bringing in a few pieces from my toy collection to see what items I want to display and like what kind of worked best with the, uh, with the room. Uh, as the collection continued to grow, I added more TVs. Um, I had a display case that was left by the previous owners and I set that up as a display case for like the old retro toys. Um, I decorated the walls with like 80s comics and 90s figures. But shortly after that in 2017 the fire marshal came and we had to use the racks in the garage. And um, I had to come up with s some other type of storage slash display um, solution. Um, while still giving up, uh, while still um, giving my, myself an opportunity to, to grow. Um, so after doing some research, I found some uh, dressers that were an ideal height for what I had in mind, and I would build everything around the drawers. So here's the progression of that. So after moving some things around, uh, rewiring everything, and putting up some artwork, uh, there you have it. As you can see here, there's enough room for two 27-inch CRT TVs and uh, two 40-inch flat screens. The one on the right is the one that's 4K, and that's going to have the most modern uh, systems hooked up to it. So without further ado, we can start the uh, game room tour. When you first walk into the room, uh, I have this like 90s style type um, of storage rack. Uh, that you can see my Castle Grayskull. Um, my Boglin, um, that's a legit like 80s type Pac-Man lunchbox. That's my original Voltron um, lunchbox. Uh, there's a few things that I don't feel like displaying, but I like to keep it on hand, like the PS Vita stuff. Um, that's a Dreamcast, Light Gun, um, Time Crisis, Vampire Knights, and that's complete. Wii U box. Uh, that's Robo Force, uh, another cartoon from the 80s. On this rack, uh, that's where I have a lot of the extra controllers. Um, there's one for the Saturn, there's the Wii U one, uh, the Zelda one, and there's the Pro Controller behind it. Those are original Xbox uh, controllers that are still sealed on some N64 stuff. Uh, that's my game um, Nintendo Power Collection. There's a few more uh, magazines someplace else. 
That's my extra Sega Dreamcast account, the um, trading cards, an extra NES. That's just some extra stuff. Uh, those are some strategy guides. Um, I'm going to do a whole segment on that because I got a lot of them on a, on a bulk deal. Uh, that's ColecoVision steering wheel, my spare PS1, um, a PS, uh, I guess like storage box. It holds video games, it's, it has slots in it, but I just keep the extra controllers in there. Uh, those are more Nintendo Powers, some loose uh, CD games. Um, that's the box for my FC3, which is, like I said, the kind of like a Retron, my spare PS3 unit. And then... There's my desk. Um, that Grand Theft Auto poster I got, um, that was from uh, the launch day of that um, particular game. A couple carded figures that are video game related. Uh, that's the soundtrack for Grand Theft Auto Vice City, which is really, really good. Um, that's a Shadow Box Spider Man art that I got from a flea market for 10 bucks. Um, this wall. I'm still debating, but it's probably going to be filled with uh, carded figures because uh, it, it's not really practical to build a like a, I guess like a, a video game storage rack there. But as you can see here, there's a lot of carded figures from the 80s and the 90s. Okay, this wall you can see I displayed a lot of comics. Um, some of them are ones that I just like the particular cover of it, and the other ones are all number ones of that particular series. Um, below the comic books, um, I had a bunch of these uh, X-Men figures, and I kept them in a storage tote, so I finally had an opportunity to display them. I don't know if they're going to be staying there, um, but I'm going to be working on other projects so they're definitely going to be there for the moment. So with regards to the toys on the wall, I try to keep them all like 80s and 90s theme. Um, the Road Warrior figures are from the early 2000s, but you know, that's a very early movie. I believe that's like some sometime in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, you have a few more X-Men figures. Below that, um, you're gonna see the Nintendo figures that I just got from a recent pickup. I'm not sure where to keep them at the moment, but for now I figured it's just better than putting them in a storage tote. I do plan on opening them. Um, if I don't open them, they're definitely going to be on display at uh, some point. So below the toys is uh, the handhelds and the little knickknacks uh, that are video game related. There you can see the game uh, GameCube with the GameCube uh, screen. Uh, there's my original Turbo Graphics. Then I had some uh, tabletops. Um, the Zaxxon was originally mine. Uh, the Pac-Man I believe I got from eBay, and the other two I got from a trade show. So in the display case, um, if you're not familiar with the figures, those are muscles that actually had a ring made for it. 
Uh, those are uh, the Wheeled Warriors, those are Visionaries. Uh, I have a few G.I. Joes uh, set up in there. Then of course you have the Battle Beasts. So below the Battle Beasts, I keep my mass vehicles and figures. Um, I had some DC old school figures there, but I guess they fell. And then those are my He-Man collection. I have a few more, but uh, those are actually hard to pose and stand up straight. Below that you have my Exo Squad um, figures and vehicles. You have Starriers, Centurions, um, those are Sectors, and those are the DC figures that fell. You have some original uh, 80s Transformers, um, the Voltron figure, I have a few uh, Silverhawk figures, and those are my Thundercats. Um, the only original one I'm missing is Chitara, which is kind of expensive. Okay, so this next wall is the actual uh, video game playing area. Um, you see some art on the wall. Uh, that's my Amiibo stand. Um, that's the 40 inch 4K screen. And those are some uh, 80s figures that line the whole case. Those are my shark skin slippers. Um, mixed in with those 80s like little uh, figures is uh, a, a blind bag or blind box kind of toy that was all 80s arcades theme. Uh, that's my only pop figure, Dr. Wily. On the next wall, you'll see that large Super Mario that I got from Toys R Us. Um, PS Vita, um, Switch controller, the Wii U controller, DS, um, a few more uh, 80s toys, um, my Pikachu, my Plu from Fairy Tail plush. Um, in this little container is where I keep um, all my loose. Uh, Game Boy, DS, 3DS, uh, Game Boy Color, um, games, and uh, I also keep the extra uh, power cords and everything else related to the handhelds. I don't have a huge collection, but you'll see that uh, collection in a minute. Um, over here, you have some of uh, those uh, makeshift cases that. You know, you could put anything in, but you have to print your own label, so there's some Genesis stuff there. I'm on the couch, as you can see, it lifts up, and for more storage, this is where I keep my uh, photography stuff, and uh, extra controllers, miscellaneous wires, the gun, uh, the gun controller, light gun. Um, there's some control uh, extensions for my X arcade setup. This is that catch from Ikea. So over here you can see I got my X Arcade. Uh, was, a lot of the times that's where we play our fighting games on. Uh, this I picked up Xbox uh, display rack I got from a, a garage sale for five bucks. This is where I have the Guitar Hero guitar, some Xbox games. Here's my Pac-Man garbage can. Um, then he had the NES Advantage and the little printout showing us how to do uh, the moves on Samurai Showdown. Below that, um, is the DS and 3DS games and uh, box PS Vita games. Uh, on the actual stand, which used to be, which used to be, uh, which was originally designed to be a TV stand, you have these little drawers that have um, original Xbox, um, an Xbox 360, I guess, magazines. Um, the other side that has, uh, uh, there's a huge stack of uh, EGM magazines. Alright, now for the systems. There's my Xbox 360, 
Uh, that thing is a little security camera thing. Xbox, uh, the component and uh, composite AV switchers. Everything is kind of set up on its own uh, power switch, so nothing is ever left on or uh, connected to power. Then you have the GameCube, the Wii, the Dreamcast, uh, the Genesis, and the ColecoVision. Next is the PS2, uh, the N64, um, the Sega Saturn, original PS1, uh, there's the Switch, and my PS3. Below that you have uh, my Turbo Graphics with the AV mods, um, the original NES, the SNES Mini, uh, the Wii U, my Raspberry Pi, and below that you have my Atari 2600. So I think I'm going to end the video there. Um, I don't want the video to be super long. Um, the next video, well, part two of this video, will showcase all the uh, games that I keep in the room. Until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe if you like these type of videos. And until then, have a good day.